ladies and dudes, I'm gonna say right off the bat that Final Fantasy VII Advanced Children is one of the best video game movies of all time. Hands down! Well, anyway, hi, ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobop1987. This is my review for a day. And today, I do have a movie review, ladies and dudes. And I really, really want to do this movie review for quite a while. And yes, I did see this movie before long ago, and I can't remember what year it was. Is it 2007 or 2008 or whatever? I'm going to do a review that featured one of the best video game movies of all time. And yes, it is based by our dear beloved video game called Final Fantasy VII. And yes, it deserves to be one of the best Final Fantasy chapters of all time in video game history, if you want to say that. So, for my next movie review is Final Fantasy VII Advanced Children. And yes, ladies and dudes, it is darn true. There is the original version of the film and also the director's cut. And I will say that the director's cut is ten times better than the original. Since there's a couple of extra scenes that was missing from the film. And thanks to these extra scenes, it made a whole lot of sense for me, of course. So, here we go, ladies and dudes. Here is my next movie review of Final Fantasy VII Advanced children complete. It's a story about it took place two years later after the events that took place from the original video game. There was an ex-soldier named Cloud who was really sad and heartbroken and he he was just worried about his best friend's death said Sephiroth is the one who killed her in purpose and um yeah he just ran away from home for a while and he is suffering from this unknown disease that came from in his arms well in his left arm of course and also he has to take care of some brand new bad guys here or there that came out of nowhere and they're trying to search for their mother Wherever that means. And yes, these bad guys had captured a couple of children here and there who got the very same disease that Cloud has. And now it's up to Cloud and his friends to take care of this big giant chaos on the loose that's happening to their world. And some others, I guess. So that's all I can say about the main plot of the story, I guess everybody wants to know is, what the heck do I think about this movie? Well, to tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, I freaking love this movie. This is a great movie to watch. This is one of the best video game movies of all time, and I was so darn blown away with this film. This is a very mind-blowing movie. I will say it had a good storyline, has very good likable characters, fantastic CGI animation. I think one of the best CGI animation films I have ever seen my whole entire life from start to finish. And they know how to make a video game movie just right. I also fell in love with the English dub voice acting. I will say the best voice actors I ever cared about in this movie who did a really good job of playing the character is the voice actor who did Cloud, the voice actor who did Vincent, 
and also the voice actor who did Sephiroth. I think those three guys did a really good job of playing all three great characters with their fantastic voices and their performances as well. It has good action scene, great drama, great score. I just love it all the above. That's for sure. All right, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my strongest points and the weakest points of Final Fantasy VII Advanced Children Complete. My weakest point of the movie? It's zero. I have no weak points at all for this movie. Zero, zip, nada. So, it's a great movie to watch. And now for the strongest points of the movie. I'll go with a tie. Just a tie. Between the CGI animation and the action scenes. I was thrilled with the CGI animation. It was so darn mind-blowing. And it blew me away from start to finish. I just love it all to death. Oh, it's just so darn beautiful. It's very well breathtaking. This is my favorite CGI animation film, even to this day. It's just beautiful to look at. The movements, the feel, and the pure epicness of this animation. What else I could say about this great animation? That's hard for me to explain. So yep, the first strongest point is the CGI animation. And as for reaction scenes, they're very darn mind blowing too. There's a lot of great action scenes going on in this movie. Great fight scenes to be found. I will say my most favorite fight scene in the whole entire movie is Cloud's group versus that big giant monster that is destroying the town. Oh, that was a great fight scene. That w and I really like that uh, the animation of that that monster that came out of nowhere. It's so dark, cool looking. It's big and huge. And it's really cool to look at. Hard for me to say. So yep, the second strongest point is the action scenes. And now let's go on to some interesting fun facts you should know about Final Fantasy VII. Yes, it is true, Final Fantasy VII deserves to be one of the most popular chapters of all time in Final Fantasy history. I guess they, the reason why everybody loved it is because of the storyline, the characters, the animation. Well, back then from the 90s. And, um, just a whole lot of thrilling stuff going on, I guess. But when the remake came in, it was a whole lot better. And uh, we could see the storyline pretty darn clearly, and I did see some of the stuff for it that's for sure and yes it is true ladies and dudes a couple of the final fantasy characters from number seven here and there they were a part of the kingdom heart saga and the truth is Sephiroth became the only villain that showed up in the kingdom heart saga and I don't see any other Final Fantasy villains that showed up in the later on chapters of the Kingdom Hearts Saga. So he was the only one. And yeah, the voice actor who did Cloud, he did came back and reprise his role for a couple other Final Fantasy chapters here and there. Including the one for the remake. That is very darn true. 
And also, ladies and dudes, if you pay attention to your favorite English dub animes from here and there, there will be a couple of English dub actors who did get involved with the Final, Fa Final Fantasy VII Advanced Children Project. I can't tell you which ones they are. You gotta watch the English dub for yourself. And if I remember right, I did see the Japanese dub long ago from the original. But I think I only saw it once and once and one time only. So that's all I can say about the interesting fun facts that I found for Final Fantasy VII Advanced Children. You know, some of the stuff I found out here and there. And now let's go on to the characters. I will go with the two characters that stand out to me. Cloud and Sephiroth. First, we got Cloud, played by this Steve, whatever his last name is. I fell in love with this character. He's a very interesting character to watch. I will say he had a very good storyline. He has a great personality, great attitude. I love his look and design of the character. I love his spiky hair so darn much. And the best part I love about Cloud, well, for two things. One, he's a great sword fighter. He really loves to use giant swords so darn much. And he has a whole ton of swords in his motorcycle. He has to do the best he can to pick which one of the swords where he has to fight one of the bad guys here and there. That's for sure. And also for the second reason. Thanks to this movie, it's all about his redemption storyline. They decide to give Cloud a very good redemption storyline. Where he has to redeem himself and he needs to let go of the past and try to move on to the future and start to become a better person than he once was. So overall, I will say Final Fantasy VII Advanced Children should deserve to be one of the best redemption movies of all time. And coming really soon in the future, ladies and dudes, I will do my top 5 best redemption movies of all time. And I've got some of the movies that's inside of my head. Something I already thought about right away. But you have to wait to see it. That will come very soon. If I could do it this year or maybe next year, we'll wait and see what happens. So yep, Cloud is a very good character overall. And the second character I want to talk about is Sephiroth, played by this George, whatever his last name is. Man, it sucks that they did not bring back that guy for um the later on parts for the Final Fantasy remake. They did not bring him back to reprise his character. After all, I love that voice actor so darn much, and his voice fits so perfectly for this amazing villain. I can understand why that Sephiroth deserves to be one of the best Final Fantasy villains of all time, and I couldn't agree with you more. I love him too. He is such a fantastic villain. I mean, he's... he's serious? He's quiet. He can say a few dialogues here and there. I love his look and design. He has cool looking white hair. He has a really cool long sword. But I will say the best part I love about Sephiroth, just one important thing, is his score. I love his score. His score is so darn mind-blowing to listen to. It's epic, it's powerful, and it suits the villain very, very well. What else I could say about this amazing villain? 
I just love him to death. Overall. And now let's head on to my final thoughts of Final Fantasy VII Advanced Children Complete. Overall, Final Fantasy VII Advanced Children Complete is one of the best video game movies of all time. It had a well done storyline, likable characters, fantastic English dub voice acting. It had a great action scenes, great drama, great score. This movie is such an epic masterpiece. And one of the best CGI movies I could ever care about. Period. So I decided to give this movie a perfect high rating score of 10 out of 10. Please check out this movie to believe it. That's for sure. And that's my whole entire movie review of Final Fantasy VII Events Children Complete. So what do you think about this movie? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's pretty decent? And tell me, ladies and dudes, what is your favorite Final Fantasy character of all time from each of the chapters? And who is your favorite voice actor or voice actress who did portray the character just right for just for the voice? Well... Whichever it is, leave a comment there, let me know. For me, my favorite other Final Fantasy characters who came from other chapters. Um, I love Leon from Final Fantasy VIII and Oren from Final Fantasy X. But Sally only got to know them in the Kingdom Hearts saga. That's for sure. As for voice actors and voice actors, hard for me to say. But that's it for now. I'll see you guys later at Sayonara.